Interlake Tourism in Land Ocean's Infinite Possibilities. www.interlaketourism.com presents Wander and Wonder, Manitoba's Interlake. Lakeside Two Kids Play with a Bubble Wand. Text available on Driftscape. Community Futures Pan West, East Interlake, West Interlake, North Red. Three women on an oversized beach chair wave as two animated people wave back. In animation, the people, now in a camper van, travel up a map from Winnipeg towards St. Laurent. Road signs read Grand Beach and Birds Hill Provincial Park. Above the bright red, barn-style doors of a wood cabin, a rustic sign with neat lettering reads Amber's Leather Creations. Inside, women embellish leather moccasins with intricate, colorful beadwork and fur trim. Metal wall sculptures adorn the outside of a periwinkle blue wooden hut. A sign invites visitors to come in, have a look. Inside and out, metal artwork from whirly gigs to intricate miniature motorbikes and colorful songbirds abound. Along a gravel road, open shop doors and outdoor displays invite browsing. Flower baskets line the railing of a low bridge. Then a sign, Welcome to Arborg, a tradition with a future. Above the doorway of a tidy white building, a sign reads, Arborg Bakery, the loaf with the homemade flavor. Inside, baked treats are on display. Behind the counter, a woman in a crisp white apron passes an iced coffee with a chocolate swirl to a customer. Elsewhere, vendors are set up on a grassy, tree-shaded area. Mason jars of pickled vegetables line a table. Two girls sell Girl Guide cookies, one with a telltale smudge of chocolate at the corner of her mouth. Two young women stand by tables of sewing and beadwork. Hi, my name is Alicia and my company is Northern Sewing Company and this is my sister. I'm Abigail and my business is My Four Sons Beading Co. And today we are at the Royal Manitoba Yacht Club pop-up craft sale. So my name came from my puppies because they're both <laughs> rescues from up north. So I started my business with starting to sew bandanas for them. And then I slowly just started making other things too that people asked me to make and then voila, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I was always a crafty girl growing up. Um, I kind of stopped doing it and then I kind of wanted to get closer to my culture. We're both Indigenous so I found that this was something that brought me closer to it. Abigail of My Four Sons Beading Company displays colourful beaded jewellery. Alicia smiles as customers browse her Northern Sewing Company crafts. On a sunny day, heading north on Manitoba's Highway 6 leads to a sculpture garden. Interpretive signs tell the stories behind weathered concrete statues of dynamic and whimsical human and animal figures. A bearded male reaches for the sky, while another rides on horseback. A woman's palm rests on her forehead. A sharp-toothed dragon roars, and a frowning chimp squats, propping his head on a fist. Next, a road sign points one way to Toulon and another to Chatfield. In a rural setting, a bright yellow wood building is covered with shiny silver triangles, as if scattered by the wind. A single eye is painted above the door. Inside, unique artwork is displayed, including a bust of a goddess-like figure. A man picks up a framed print for a closer look. Sitting on a vintage pumpkin-coloured couch, the owner explains... Definitely the history has inspired me a lot. That's kind of what, what gets me excited to, to talk to customers about, because that's usually... Lots of the people have been to the museum and are just excited to revisit the space and so I'm always very excited to learn more about the history of, of the place that I'm living in as well. Heading north on Manitoba's Highway 7, signs declare, Mark it open, with arrows pointing the way. Below a statue of a duck in flight, a sign reads, Welcome to Petersfield, established 1905, home of the Mallard Duck. On a grassy field surrounded by trees, vendors display their wares including t-shirts, fresh produce, arts and crafts, and goat's milk soap. A rustic wooden sign points the way to a yard sale. A man checks out the market on a motorized unicycle. A woman smiles holding up one of her Love Light Apothecary products. Nearby, a man performs yo-yo tricks. Elsewhere at Flatland Coffee Roasters, baristas prepare beverages. The finishing touch in one cup, a steamed milk heart. Outdoors, a sign reads, Gimli, the heart of New Iceland, H.P. Turkesson General Store, built in 1898, heritage site. Inside, a woman with short blonde hair introduces herself. Hello, I'm Lorna Turgeson, and I'm in the Turgeson store on First Avenue. The store was established in 1899 by Hans Pieter. We actually think we are probably the eldest family-owned business in Manitoba and maybe even in Western Canada. We do, you're right. The store is and was a general store. We are not selling bullets or hardware anymore. However, we have a, a big array of uh, clothing, giftware, 
and books, yarns, shoes. As I said, you name it and we have it. Games line shelves, while on a wall, a moose head sports a medical mask. Tree rounds are decorated with striking images, including a Viking and a mosquito. Antique cameras are on display. Elsewhere outside the 1950s style Half Moon Drive-In, a sign advertises deluxe hot dogs. Inside, red and chrome seating sits atop a black and white checkered floor. As ice cream treats are served, a customer licks their cone. Outside, a little girl and man dance with enthusiasm. Finally, a neon Half Moon sign shines at twilight. Two animated people speed by in a cartoon boat. The boat flag reads, As It Happened Productions. Interlake Tourism, Inland Oceans, Infinite Possibilities. Supported by Prairies Economic Development Canada. Logo Canada. Find all the Wander and Wonder films and podcasts here. Interlaketourism.com, Driftscape.com, or download Driftscape from your favourite app store.